it shows like generic pictures of Weatherford, like oh, when wow. we were the watermelon yeah. capital. Yeah, oh, that's um, great. And then there's ones of, of Weatherford, like when. I, I do every time I've come to Weatherford. I'm like, man, this is. Well, what have you really... seen so far? Well, you know, I just everything. We saw the buildings coming up around the square. As soon as you get near the square, the, the, you just step back in time in a lot of this. Yeah, here it comes. Makeup! Like Nathan's makeup. Uh, it just feels like it's a, really what a Texas town is supposed to feel like. Okay. Today we're painting a uh, Texas landscape that happens to be 40 foot tall and 100 feet wide. These bricks are were built in, uh, I think, 1885. And uh, as you can see, they're kind of rough, but it's at, adding a real nice texture to our painting. Uh, this is one of the first buildings built here in Weatherford, Texas. And uh, today we're working on clouds. And fortunately, we have the exact clouds up here that we're trying to paint on the wall. So it's going to be kind of cool. We'll see how it turns out. From the gleaming steam and locomotive iron horse, you'll hear them say, Here it comes. Okay, this is my assistant, Mike. Snap it. Uh, we call him the Great White Mike. <laughs> Blotches in the paint, follows me, does the shadow side, I do the highlight. He's been working with me now a couple couple of uh, years, and uh, he's getting really good at it and proficient. Okay, the first thing I'm doing is uh, I put a big grid on the wall, and uh, mostly just lines going straight up so I wouldn't get lost off of my sketch. I'm trying to create a Texas landscape. I'm gonna put in historical features, and uh, mostly just trying to make it look cool. The grid keeps everything in scale. I've got a, I did a scale drawing uh, to start so that I kind of knew the direction I was going. Uh, when you get this large, if you if you get it too small, it, I mean, get it, it's so huge, you've got to kind of plan it small and then just think big while you're doing it. Uh, this way, once I get soaked in all this paint and everything, I don't get distracted. I stick to my drawing and it's pretty, ends up being pretty close. Oh, well, the courthouse, the old courthouse that was actually built before this building, which is the very center of town, and everywhere you look, you can see the courthouse. It's going in the center of the picture, so it, it anchors it right there in the middle. Uh, I'm going to do the sunset so I can do orange and yellow here on the outside in the state of Texas, and uh, we haven't even gotten near doing that, and all morning everybody's like, what are you going to do with the state of Texas? Here in Texas, they love their state symbol. It's as iconic as Elvis or Marilyn Monroe. It is, it's the thing. So that'll be our center of focus. Weatherford Square is kind of in its infancy, you know, I mean, they're really pushing to create the atmosphere like Fredericksburg and, you know, they've got a downtown committee that, that's really pushing to do that and they've done some construction recently and, you know, I think that's the end goal is to have this more pedestrian friendly, it's more inviting for people to come around and shop, you know, we'll get more retail on the square and you know just more attraction you know and I think that this painting is going to get a kick start for that. Golden brown texture like sun Okay right here Mike. Yeah. First I'm going with white you're going to go with gray. Okay, first thing I'm doing here is spraying on where Mike is going to paint gray. 
He's painting the shadow side of the cloud. Fortunately, today it's so fabulous out we are painting the actual clouds that are appearing in the sky. That's always fun. Mike, you're all the way in here with this gray. Come up there a little bit, yeah. We're only about 25 feet in the air, and that's not really that high. And fortunately, we have no wind today, so. The other day it was like 30 mile an hour winds, and we were blowing around like this, and it was. You have to hit your brush on there as you go back, when you get back, back and forth like that. That's okay. I got Mr. Amazon arms here so he can reach it most of the time anyway. This rock is so fabulous, we're gonna use the rock. These little divots in there are gonna be our actual shadow since it already casts a natural shadow. We're gonna use that as the lump in the cloud. It's almost like sculpting something here. We've already got this beautifully molded texture, which I think in the long run is gonna give it an abstract quality, make it a little bit more modern instead of the old traditional Western scene. You wired me awake and hit me with a hand of broken nails. Okay, today's day 13, and what we're doing is uh, finishing the third side. We're still blocking in. We haven't done any serious detail. We're just kind of working things out, putting color in, and, and trying to see how it all looks as an overall shape. This is my... Uh, work platform we pull up we leave the studio my studio in Burleson about 10 o'clock in the morning we get out here it's about an hour drive and my boys get out lay this out lay my drop cloths out I'm over here pondering what we're gonna work on today and uh, just we just jump on it we are so excited I got pulled over this morning on the way here because I was like 15 miles over I'm like man I'm sorry I'm so excited to get to this mural the guy's like, well, have a nice day, son. So we're like, okay, gladly. So uh, it works out that way, but we're really excited once we get rolling here. Yesterday, we got finished with the uh, State of Texas icon. We put the courthouse in it, and uh, immediately people started responding. All day, people have been driving by. They just love this courthouse. They've grown up with it. it really, it's been a part of people's lives here for 130 years or something like that. So. Uh, we're real proud to have painted it. Again, this is just the block in. We, I still have to detail it, but I'm really excited about how it's coming out. Oh, they're bringing their kids today. A school bus drove by with a busload of kids to uh, show the kids us, us working in progress here. Uh, once you mix that, I want to add some blue to it as well, because we've got this blue shadow going in there. Okay, what I'm trying to do here with this color palette is, uh, as you can see, there's a beautiful blue sky. Uh, I'm going to paint this top line really dark blue. And uh, I kind of want this to kind of disappear up into the sky. As the sun sets and it gets darker, at some point, this color is the same color that's out here, so that's kind of fun. Uh, I'm suggesting the sun that's set here just to add some spice to our orange and orange and yellow it just jazzes it up a little bit i think it would be too boring just to have clouds all the way across the green and orange combo with the red and the yellow uh it's just really my favorite colors i try to use these whenever i can okay what we did when we first got here this morning was draw these huge perspective lines that go all the way back to the center of our mural that way when we're up close to it like this we don't get lost on our perspective uh, if you get up here and you start drawing it, it's real easy to get everything crazy. It's good, okay. Don't worry about that, Brandon. Just bring it on down to here. Oh. You're going to go straight down here that way. That's that separate roof. But as long as we know, just like Leonardo did in the uh, Last Supper, everything is based on a center point and every perspective comes off of that. So basically that's the same thing I'm doing now. It's a, you know, five, six hundred year old uh, technique, but it really, really works. Uh, as we get up, we lose our place because it's just so enormous once it gets on top of you. Uh, then we just get up and start blocking basic 
shapes in there. All these are like little rectangles and little diamonds, and they just happen to be red or they happen to be black. And uh, hopefully when we step back and get down off the lift, it all kind of fits together like a puzzle. This is the old barn that I used in the painting. Uh, I wanted to have a combination of uh, historic features that happened in Weatherford and also some buildings that are still here that obviously have been here for a long time. Uh, a couple days ago, the, the lady whose father owned this barn for a long time uh, came by and said it was the pride and joy of his life. He really, just really enjoyed coming out here and they had cattle and uh, it needs some repair. So I'm hoping that a little extra attention might, might get it rejuvenated. Give me your hand. This old train station here was built uh, late 1800s and uh, at one time it was hustle and bustle and all the goods came in from Europe and all over the world. Uh, they shipped them right in here to this station. This was a real important part of this city and uh, since I'm doing a portrait of the city, uh, I think these kind of old buildings are, are really cool. They were here then, they're here now. Now they're not used for much, but uh, again, maybe a little more attention. We put some money and become an old uh, revitalization of the train station. And this is a house I was driving up Palo Pinto here, looking around the town for interesting things to paint. And uh, when you come up the block, there's no way you can't see this and the beauty of it. It was here for a hundred years, and now it's a bed and breakfast, and uh, how cool is that? Of course I had to paint this. This tree is the tree that's in the left of the mural. I came over here, and this is a big part of the uh, area here, and a lot of families are here. The historian told me there's a lot of history in here. The uh, gentleman, Mr. Loving, from the Goodnight Loving Trail, who was depicted in the uh, Lonesome Dove movie, is buried here. And, uh, it's just filled with a lot of history, and I thought this tree was real nice and shady, and probably been here a long time, so it kind of fits in. This is the hill from the top of the uh, cemetery. Yeah, I was just painting a mural, but here from the top of the hill by the Greenwood Cemetery, you can see the mural all the way from here. And instead of having a gray building over there, now you can you can see some art. Here's the cemetery. Just uh, really extends the art, I think, all the way out to here. He's happy going off to meet his lady. An old story here in Weatherford is that instead of uh, getting married in Fort Worth, a lot of the couples going back through time came over here to the courthouse in Weatherford and got married, snuck off and got married. And people from Fort Worth couldn't. Uh, wouldn't be able to stop because they didn't know about it. And so I'm going to depict a cowboy and a young lady uh, sneaking off to get married. Today's about my 25th day of painting. Uh, I let my assistants uh, have some time off while I finish the details and draw in the people. They've got some other projects they're working on. And uh, just trying to get ready uh, for an opening we're having. We're having an unveiling where the mayor of Weatherford is coming in and, and uh, my patron and friend, uh, Tom Moncrief, has, uh, wants to throw a reception for me. And, uh, so it's gonna be kind of exciting. People around here are getting real excited about it. So we're gonna have some Texas, Texas food and uh, just talk about the history. And uh, my uh, client and the patron of this piece, Tom Moncrief uh, wanted to get people excited back in the history of their town. Uh, you know, every town has its own history, and, and we're just going to bring it out. This part of town, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of activity anymore, but uh, we're hoping that it'll really inspire people to come around. And uh, I think it will, because every day there's a parade of cars coming by, tell me good job, they love it, and all this stuff. So. Uh, Obviously, something's, something's inspiring him. Good old darling, so wily and wise. He knew that it was fear in a thin disguise. Knew that it was fear in a thin disguise. He too pushed when he meant to draw near. If he felt a little scared, he could... I 
wanted to show the history of the town because, uh, you know, each town has its own personality and that history. You can find it in the cemetery over there. There's, uh, we drove through the cemetery looking for really good trees the other day and found a uh, couple headstones that said killed by Indians. So, you know, it, people, you know, you forget sometimes this was all a wild west out here. You know, and the people were rugged that came in here and uh, built this wall, built this town. You got too far out of town, you're doing it your own peril. So I think it's kind of cool being so close here to the uh, courthouse. We're kind of paying tribute to the people that built this wall. Kind of makes you feel good when you're you're touching actual rocks that they put in here. It's just something cool to it. To, to be able to tie into history is always awesome.